Good morning, Atlanta Coast High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. It's Thursday, February 3rd, and welcome to the One Race. I'm Trinity. And I'm Chelsea, and here today's announcements. Yesterday, a handful of STEAM grade student athletes were recognized and celebrated on National Signing Day. Let's take a look back at the festivities. On Wednesday, six senior race signed the dotted line to continue their athletic career at the College of Their Choice. It's a day we've been uh, dreaming about for the longest, uh, and I'm just happy that I'm be able to sign. Congratulations to Arthur Fats Walker, who will continue his football career at Olivet Nazarene University near Chicago. For the second consecutive year, one of our swimmers will become a Seminole. The culture there was just so welcoming. It's close to home. Um, I love the academic rigor that it has, and it's just a good overall fit for me. Lynn Winkler is staying close to home to run cross country at FSCJ. I chose it because it gives me opportunity to stay at home with my family, but continue what I love, which is running. Jennifer Thames will continue her sophomore career at Agnes Scott College in Georgia. I get to do something that I've done my whole life at the next level. Chloe Pinto is one of our two volleyball players going off to college. She will go to the State College of Florida in Bradenton while Haley Wojnarowski will play at Pasco Hernando State College in, near Tampa. I picked my school because it had the major and the classes that I needed and wanted to go into for what I wanted to do in the future. Again, congratulations to all of our student athletes who are going to be competing in athletics at the next level. Reporting for the Morning Rays, I'm Jake Rizzo. The Mindfulness and Wellness Club is meeting today after school from 2.05 to 3.30 in room 337. Everyone is welcome and the club meets every Thursday. It's a safe space to express yourself, grow into your intentions, learn calming techniques, and make new friends. This week's lesson and activity are on inner child healing. Skills USA is a new club for career and technical education students. There is a meeting for Skills USA today between 2 o'clock and 3 in room 601. If you would like to learn more about how to get involved in this growing club, then come by today's meeting or contact Mr. Bob in, the, in room 601 with any questions you may have about Skills USA. We've got a couple college representatives that will be visiting ACHS during the next couple weeks, beginning with the Savannah College of Art and Design. A representative from SCAT will be in our media center during all lunches this Monday, February 7th. Also, Georgia Southern is sending a representative to the media center on Wednesday, February 16th during all lunches. The Black Student Union is planning a spare week next week in honor of Black History Month. Take a look at these dress up themes beginning with sports day on this Monday. Next Tuesday is 70s day. On Wednesday the 9th, represent your favorite HBCU or college. On Thursday, the 10th, wear the colors of the BSU, the red, yellow, or green. Friday, February 11th, is a blackout day. Today's Black History Month figure of the day is Lauren Hill. She is most known for breaking barriers in the rap industry as a female. At the end of the 20th century, her soulful voice put her at the top of the hip-hop and rhythm and blues charts. Lauren Hill was the first African-American female to be nominated in 10 categories in a single year and the first one five Grammys in one night. Lauryn Hill has made a big impact in the music industry and inspires most artists you listen to today. She'll go down as one of the greatest female hip-hop artists of all time. The Spanish Honor Society has a busy couple of weeks starting with officers meetings tomorrow. That's also the last day to pay dues for the Spanish National Honor Society. On Monday, February 7th, there will be a general meeting at 215 in room 614. Next Thursday, February 10th, is the induction ceremony in the auditorium at 6 p.m. There will be rehearsal the day before at 215 in the auditorium. 
If you had any questions about Spanish Honor Society, please see Mr. Z in room 614. The next meeting for the Ping Pong Club will be on Monday, February 7th after school in the downstairs 500 building. Those are all the announcements for today. Have, Have a great, great day, day and go Stingrays! Stingrays.